What's up guys, I'm Poke Cinema, and welcome back to my Pokemon Moon playthrough. Last time guys, we caught our first Pokemon, did a whole bunch of other stuff. But guys, we're about to go to the Island Festival. But before we start off this episode, if you're a longtime supporter, or just a fan, or even just stopping by, if you could hit that like button down below, uh, tweet out the channel, or anything like that, share the video, it would really be very much appreciated. So thank you guys for doing all that, and let's go ahead go to the festival I'm really excited for this I've been been waiting for a while and uh, it feels like I went through the out last episode very very slow so we'll try to pick up the pace in this one the Alola region is made up of four islands and each island has its own guardian Pokemon well that's cool our festival today is held to express uh, thanks to those great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our sides well we may call it a festival but it's just this little thing you see here there may not be many of us, but at least every uh, every last one of us uh, here goes all out. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, that that's that's true, man. That's real true. Hey, it's that guy we battled earlier. All right, that's cool. It's like everybody's just out doing their normal thing, but I want to talk to this guy. What's up, dude? Maybe we can battle again. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind battling again, honestly. Oh, how's it, Tommy? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Ralph have been waiting for ages. <laughs> Oh man, he's cool. I really like it. Hold on. Didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? Um, should they have? I guess I don't know. All oh, right. Uh, yeah, right on time. Okay. Uh, but what exactly? You. Uh, the festival, guys. Come on, man. A full-powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competitions to please our guardian. Woo! So you two will be taking part in the battle. I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another uh, since they so often end up getting hurt. But it seemed like this is an important event, so I'll be sure to watch you both. Oh, well thanks. That's, that's really nice of you, Lily. Your Pokemon have fought for you, so show them the same care in return, Tommy. Allow me to heal them for you. Alright, man. Heal, heal my beautiful little Pokemon, man. They're, they're wonderful. Are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Um... Yeah, I guess. I'm ready. Then let's begin. Alright, man. Let's do this. Let's begin. I want to get some free experience for my boy, uh, Bradford. Bradford's in need of some love and experience, guys. Alright. For all life on our li islands. And for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts. We pray for your protections. For them and all of Mele Mele. Oh, I love the way he says that. Uh, may this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. Oh, man, okay. Uh, before you stands how? A grandson to the Kahuna. Ooh, there he goes. He's coming up, man. Before him stands Tommy, one who has met with Tapu Koko. Yeah, that's true. I have met with Tapu Koko. Woo! What? Oh, what a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. Ha! Huh. Uh, that's just typical. Yeah, I, I, I met Tapu... Oh, look! Oh, look, Picky Peck. Okay. Oh, my gosh, she knows I have a Picky Peck. Oh, man, that's cool. As long as we both have a good time, then I think we can still have a great battle, eh? Yeah, you're definitely right about that. Picky Peck's about to destroy you. Tommy, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. That is so cool, guys. I, <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am. All right, here we go. We get to battle our rival once again. Pokemon Trainer, how? All right, buddy. Let's see what you got this time. Ooh, okay. All right. Well, where did you get the Pichu, my friend? Because I didn't see one, and I want one real bad. And it's higher level than my guy. Okay. Well, that's no good. Um, huh. All right. Well, let's just switch Pokemon. Luckily, we have, like, 11 potions, so I think we'll be just fine. I really do want to know where to get one of those Pichus, though, because I would like to pick one up myself. All right, the opposing Pikachu, Pikachu used Thundershock. All right, that shouldn't do too much to me. All right, now let's go for an Ember, and this should do pretty good damage. Pichu's just a generally frail Pokemon. Wow, okay, that did really not near what I was expecting it to. But then again, it's, it's still okay. We got a Paralyzed Heal, we got a Potion, so we're set. We really don't have to worry at all. All right, and a tail lit, man. That is not nice. This guy's really going for the win here, but I don't think he's going to get it. I'm just going to go for this Ember, and it should be more than enough to take out this Pichu. Goodbye. 
You're a little bit stronger than I thought you were gonna be, Peaky or Pichu. I really want to get one now. All right, so that is enough to put me at level eight. All right, man, look at that. Get some nice stat boosts. Yum, yum, yum. And we learned Lick. Oh, okay. It's a nice ghost type move. And Bradford gets to level five too. Okay. All right, he's about to send in Rallet. Will you switch Pokemon? Um, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna switch. I, I think, I think that our other Pokemon should do pretty good. Picky Peck, you're gonna do great, buddy. All right, let's see, Rallet, if you can take on my Picky Peck. I don't think so. All right, well, let's go for a Peck on this guy. And look, it even tells you if it's super effective. Wow, this game is definitely, definitely, uh, I don't know, teaching you a lot more, if that makes sense. You had to figure out the type advantages all on your own and everything like that. So it's really nice that they're adding in stuff like this. Very exciting. All right, Leafage. Oh, no, let's see how much that does. Okay, the, the three damage, so uh, it's not too scary there. Looks like if we keep pecking, we might just be able to kill this guy. All right, hopefully this tackle doesn't do too much damage. All right, it did do a good amount. Definitely did more than I think our pecks are doing, so that's kind of scary, but I think if we keep going for peck, we should be fine and dandy. So just a couple more of those and we should be able to kill this guy, no problem. All right, there we go. One more peck should be able to take this guy out unless he goes for a growl and we get super unlucky or something. All right, there we go. Peck, and that should be it. There you go, Rallet. It was a good game, buddy. Sorry it had to end this way, but I needed Bradford to get a, a, a level, man, so I, I couldn't help it. I had, to, I had to do this. Man, all right. There we go, Bradford. You did great. What? It's already over. Yeah, it is, man. I told you I'd win. I, I'm not going to lose. I mean, I know that. Hooray. All right, man. Perfect. Okay. Ooh-wee, another great battle this year. I bet Tapu Koko liked it, too. You bet he did. Phew, that was awesome, Tommy. That was really a great battle. I had a blast fighting you. Thanks, man. Uh, it was a good battle. With this, even Tapu Koko, oh, there he is. Hey, you heard it yourself, Tapu Koko's song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it's time that you take this, Tommy. Is it gonna be my Z moves thing? I bet it is. <gasps> Ooh, look at it. You slipped the Z ring onto your wrist, okay. So are we already gonna get the Z move thing? Because that would be very cool if we did. Your Z-Ring, a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It could bring forth their Z-Power. We Kahunas can make them by refining stones like the sparkling stone that you received from Tapu Koko. Although, until you collect more Z-Crystals during your island challenge, you're not going to be able to draw out the Z-Power of your Pokemon. And yet, you have already received that sparkling stone. It seems Taku Koko, or Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you. Or perhaps it has a mission for you. In other words, it's time for you to get out, uh, get out there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what the mission is. Hmm, okay, the island challenge, let's see. Four islands. You'll travel to each of the four islands here in Alola region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The Island Challenge Champion. Whew. Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. Man, I can't wait either. Sounds great. I'll explain about the Island Challenge later. All right, man. Thanks, Professor Kakui or Kakawi or Kokola, Ko Koala Bear. Thank you. You're my new friend. <laughs> but, man, I can't believe we beat that so easily. What's up, dude? She's, she's going to talk to me. Tapu Koko is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Pew! Yeah, that's right. Nebby wants to thank it too, it sounds like. It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with that sparkling stone. Even though you're a stranger to this place. Yeah, that is pretty nice of the Pokemon to do that. Suppose it's time we get you kids home, yeah? Then I suppose this is goodbye. Aw, oh, man. It's not goodbye. This is just the start of an adventure. What's she doing? Getting all glum and gloom. No. No, 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 no. Honey, I'm home. All right, I, I guess I'm home too. <laughs> all right, when can I start my journey? Oh, Tommy, you're back already. I thought you'd want to stay in Iki Town longer. 
No, I, I had to come straight back, especially right after that great battle. Oh, I was just captivated to see my own boy fighting in such perfect sync with his Pokemon. Maybe it'd be a good idea for you to try the island challenge thing. It's something you can only do in Alola, right? But right now, I've got a date with my bed, and I dance my feet off at that festival. Night night, sweetie, you get some sleep too. Okay, so I get some sleep too, then I guess I should probably just hit the hay. That's probably what I'm going to be doing. Alright, the next day. Alright, maybe we could finally start that, that island challenge. What beautiful weather. I wonder what today will bring me. Man, I wonder when we're going to move in. A visitor? If it's Kikui, he'll probably let, him, <laughs> let himself in without even... Uh, Waiting for us to open the door. Yeah, you're probably right about that. He usually doesn't wait. He usually just walks straight in the house. All right, let's see. It's probably not him, though. I'm guessing it's going to be Lily or our new rival. How? Or how? 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 I don't know. Whatever his name is, man. All right, Lily, what's up? Oh, um, the professor said... Uh, hey there, Lily. Bring that great new trainer. Woo! Uh, so I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab, if you'll come with me. It's, um, it's this way. Okay. Tommy! Yeah, wh what's up? What's up, girl? How you doing? Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything. Alright, I, I, I won't waste it on anything too silly. Don't worry. Oh, well done, Tommy. You're already making friends, aren't you? And what a cute little friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful people here. Me? Well, <laughs> thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. All right, man. That's cool. I'm excited, man. I didn't know that they, they haven't met. I guess I, uh, I don't know. Looks like it's uh, finally time to take your shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there with Picky Pack and don't be gone too long. Oh, man. I'm going to be gone for a long time. Picky Pack. Well, you know what? I should be using Litten. I like Litten better. You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you to the professor, uh, Pokemon professor research lab place thingy thingy place. All right, sweet. We're definitely going to get going there. But I want to take a look at my Pokemon, see the levels. All right, we're good. Definitely going to stick with these two, uh, these two Pokemon and keep them where they are. So she headed this way? Aha, I figured it out. Knew it. You can only reach the professor's lab by uh, treading through the tall grass here. He says he can research moves better when he's surrounded by Pokemon. Well, I guess that makes sense. Since I'm not a trainer, though, uh, I have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know that using repels keeps Pokemon from attacking, right? Yeah. And about Nebby, I mean, Cosmog. Whoa, okay. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. Okay, that's cool. It seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once uh, when I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. And that's why only uh, Professor and the Kahuna Hala and the other people are the ones I trust knowing about it. Can you keep it a secret? Can you not tell anybody else about Nebby or what happened on that bridge? Please. Um, yeah, I guess I, I'm not going to tell anybody. Don't worry about it. I mean, you keep making a huge deal about it. But I, I honestly would have had no idea that any of these guys were good or anything. I mean... I don't know. You're the one who told me it was a legendary. Otherwise, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought anything about it. Let's go. Kneecaps. Why? Why kneecaps? What does that even mean? I have no idea. All right. Well, let's fight this youngster. All right, youngster Kevin. Let's see what you got, buddy. Probably some stupid Pokemon. Grubbin. What is a Grubbin? Oh yeah, I remember this little guy. Doesn't he turn into a bug? Electric Pokemon. It's a very cool Pokemon. All right, Grubbin. Uh, let's see how you fare against a Peck. Oh, man. Okay. Not too good. Not too good. <laughs> All right. So let's use another Peck, and we should be able to take this guy out without too many problems. So, Bradford, let's do it, man. Let's go for that big Peck. No, don't string shot me, dude. That ain't cool. That ain't how we play it. It's not how this goes, man. You got you to gotta get Pecked first. Our speed keeps falling, but it really doesn't matter. After this peck, that's good game. So, G, G, Hater. How beautiful. How beautiful. And we get 70 experience, which is going to put us at level 7. All right, man. That's nice. And we get echoed voice. Heck yeah. All right. 
Oh, I'm brought to my knees. Man, I don't know what your obsession is with knees, but it's kind of disgusting. Like, that's, that's really gross, dude. No one just, no, you don't just randomly say stuff like, that's just, it's just not cool. It's odd. Very odd. That guy's odd. All right, well, let's go ahead and pick up this item here. And you know what, guys? I actually forgot. I wanted to check something out, so we're going to do that. All right, it's in our Pokedex here. Uh, let's see, we got Rallet, Litten, all these guys. It's great, but that's not really what I care about. What I'm wanting to see here is this guy. All right, so let's see where we can catch this guy. Looks like we can catch him on Melee Melee Island. What is this? Is this Route 1? Yeah, that looks like Route 1. Can we catch him where we are right now? No? Okay, we can catch him on Route 1. All right. Well, you know what, guys? I think I'm actually going to make my way back to Route 1 because I really, really want a Pichu, man. I I feel like that's a Pokemon that's going to be really good, especially with Alolan Raichu. So let's, let's make our way back there. It's going to be quite a long journey, but I don't know. I might catch it off screen, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it off screen. Okay, uh, Wingle. Don't really want to catch you, buddy. In fact, I don't even really want to see you. Let's just run. Man, that's actually pretty high level, level five. That's kind of uh, kind of getting up there, man. I think the guy we just fought was only like level four, right? Man, it's crazy. All right, well, there was an item over here. I picked it up though, Awakening. I forgot that I'd picked it up for a second. Oh man, she saw us, okay. Alola, check out my cute Pokemon. I forgot that they actually say Alola in this game. They, they say Alola instead of like Aloha. But that's cool. All right, so we're challenged by Last Madison. Let's see what you got, girl. A Wingle. Okay, shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, well, actually, kind of is a problem. It's pretty good against our other Pokemon, so we're going to have to rely only on Bradford. But Bradford, uh, you definitely, definitely got this. Uh, let's see how and what Echoed Voice does. All right, let's go for info. Huh, the user attacks a Pokemon with an echoing voice. What about Peck? Let's see, that one's 35, and this one is special. All right, let's try to go for echo voice. See how much uh, more or less that does. All right, well, good thing we did use echo voice because he's using Growl, and our attack stat's gonna be falling. Oh man, that did a pretty good amount of damage. All right, let's just keep using echo voice on this guy. I really do like the new theme though, man. It sounds pretty nice. I've heard it, I guess, in trailers, so the new theme uh, for battles isn't that exciting. But for some of the new guys that we're going to be seeing, uh, some of the new characters, I haven't heard all the themes. So I'm pretty pumped for that. Pretty pumped for like the Aether Foundation theme and all that. I haven't heard any of them, so I'm so excited. But there we go, we defeated uh, this little chick. And good game, man. Good, good game. We're gonna have to pick up a Pichu soon, though, because I really want one, man. But then again, that's three Pokemon already. I don't know. We could just wait a little bit. But Pichu is so cool, man. I just really want one. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of good Pokemon around here. There has to be. Look, there's another trainer. Will you fight? No? Okay. Uh, the Pokemon I've got with me are all grass types. I'm looking for some water type Pokemon, too. Oh, that's that's cool. What's over here? Oh, okay. And I, I recognize this area. I think I, uh, I've seen it in someone's video. All right, a wild wingle up here. So it seems I've got a lot of wingle here. I mean, the water type's not bad. I do need a water type Pokemon, but I'm definitely not going to be picking up wingle. That's just, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> I don't think I could use a Wingle very effectively. All right, so let me run away, please. Goodbye, Wingle. It was fun while it lasted, but uh, I just wanted to see if there was any items over here. Hey, look, there's a random dude. All right, that's cool. Uh, let's just run out of here really quick and uh, talk to Lily. Let's do what we were supposed to do. We're supposed to go in this lab. Man, this lab's all like, I don't know, it's weird. Oh, yeah, Rock Ruff, let's go. Give it everything you got. My body is ready. Woo! Hey, my body is ready reference. Ah, uh, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been, um, posing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. 
Yeah, probably. I mean, you do have a Pokemon. I don't know. The Professor. He never stops researching moves. Not even inside the lab itself. It looks like we'll have to patch up the roof again. And I had just watched his la or washed his lab coat and finally gotten it clean, too. Uh, now it'll be in shreds. And I'm no good at mending clothes. So he'll just have to buy another new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. Yeah, you're probably right about that. I don't think monologuing is the best idea when this guy is literally destroying the building he's in. Oh my gosh, look at that. That Pokemon is cute. This is a cool little lab, man. It looks good on the inside. But the outside, not so much. Definitely not so much on the outside. Would you check this out, man? I, I love the way <clears throat> that the game is looking. Ah, oh, hey there, Tommy. Thanks for getting them for me, Lily. Hey, all right, I'm here. Of course, however, uh, however I can be a help. I, I'm, oh wait, that's Lily talking. See, I always confuse him, I never see that. Okay, Rockruff's moves were just uh, so styling and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Tommy, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? All right, cool. You gonna put Rockruff in there? So what do you think of this place? Not bad, right? But, uh, that's not why I called you here, yeah? Okay, here, it finally arrived. Alright, what is it, man? It. What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Wait, really? What? He's actually inside of it? Uh, oh yeah, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residents in machines. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, buddy, and, uh, okay... It's the next generation of Pokedexes. It's only complete once Rotom has gone into this body, especially developed for it. Wow, that's cool. The whole new way for people and Pokemon to communicate. Woo! And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. Now, if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in. No way, that's really cool. I didn't know that it was like an actual Rotom. I thought it was something else. Look at it, there it is. Hey now, sorry about that Rotom. Guess I surprised you, didn't I? Oh man, Rotom. Here boy, I powered up your favorite Dex. Give it to, I wonder if you can capture it, like as the Pokedex, that would be cool, man. They should have definitely made that a form that you can use. That would be so cool. All right, well, there we go. The bottom screen has been tricked out. Zert, nice to meet you, pal. Gentle on the goods. Oh, that's cool, man. It gives a little map too. See Tommy, now Tommy, uh, the Pokemon can talk right to you. Okay, that's cool. And, uh, how will this help? What? It, I have a map in my screen. How? Tommy hasn't been here in Alola too long. Uh, yeah, I haven't been here too long. What is she saying? Like, how could that be helpful? Lily, you're an idiot. This is just helpful because it's a map. Uh, you can see where you're headed just by looking at the Rotom, and if you give it a little tap, you can even check out the town map. See, that's what I'm saying, man. Lily's over here being negative, like, oh, that's stupid, but no, it's not. It's beautiful. Alola! Hey, what's up, man? The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here. <laughs> That's funny. Whoa! I love this guy, man. He's so carefree. He just doesn't care about anything. He's like, I'm just gonna barge into this lab. I'm just gonna run around. Is that a loft? That's awesome! Oh, man, I love lofts. Uh, no, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. Uh, if you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Tommy? Yeah, I guess that's right. And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up here in the loft. So, Tommy, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Tommy, yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. All right. Uh, here are some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. Hey, here we go. Finally getting started. The Island Challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around the island. Uh, the strongest trainer around. The Island Challenge champion. Woo! It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. There are four main islands that make up Alola, and uh, a Kahuna for each one of them. If you wish to be recognized by the Kahunas as worthy, it is said that you must clear seven trials. Oh, okay. Tommy, I want you and your picky pack to get out there and give it a shot. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's move in uh, your very first battle. I think you must have a talent for drawing out Pokemon strengths. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do it. Alright, I'm excited. 
Oh yeah, someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves. I really want to see you uh, out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your island challenge journey. Here, everybody, on this... Whoa. Okay, it's one of these island challenge amulets. That's that's cool, man. Where does that go? Oh, okay, it's on my bag. That's really cool. I wonder if it actually stays there. Oh, it does. That is so cool. I got my one from Gramps, too. All right, then, Tommy. You, too, Hal. Get on moving. Uh, okay. Sweet. I guess. Uh, to the trainer school. You've got a lot to learn in the basics of uh, being a Pokemon trainer. All right, I guess I do have a lot to learn. What about you? Uh, I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. I mean, uh, train with them. Right. The Island Challenge. So, this is how people of the Alola... Okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Lily, you take care of Tommy, yeah? Until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. Oh man. I, I got my Rotom, dude. I just... I want to be left alone. <laughs> I want to be left alone at this point. But you know what? She was all secretive about her loft, so I kind of want to go up in here and check it out. Oh, this is cool. So this is where she's staying. Let's, let's see if we can read this little diary. There's a diary that looks to belong to Lily. It has a glittering lock on the front of it, so you can't read whatever's inside. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to see if she liked me. Well, I can lay in her bed, apparently. Uh, it's a sofa bed that Lily uses. <laughs> Uh-oh. I can lay on it. It's Cosmog's bed. Oh, wow. It looks like Rockruff has chewed on it. Oh, no, Rockruff. What's wrong with you? Look at that book. It's sticking out. There's several of Lily's books, and they're pretty advanced. What about that red one that's sticking out? I want to see that one. Oh, it's her makeup bag. Okay. Well, that's really cool. All right, Lily. I like your little room. Why do you have a Murkrow up here? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is really nice. I like this little loft. I I've stayed in a loft before, and I... You know, I don't think they're bad at all. I kind of like them. All right, what's back here? Anything else? Nope. All right. Well, that's great. Just wanted to have a uh, little little explore. We just look look around a little bit. But uh, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to have to uh, end this episode off right here. If you did enjoy this episode, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Share the video. Tweet out the video. Do whatever you want to do. But I appreciate you guys watching thus far. And I will see you guys in the next episode.